Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. And I'm ID Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. Uh, Georgia Man. Georgia Man. He did something. What did a Georgia Man do, man? He was arrested. For what? For stealing. What did he steal? He stole his neighbor's entire front porch. Why, why, wait. Oh, yeah, I heard about this, actually. Yeah. I heard about this. Porch was valued about $3,000. A big old 8 by 10 wooden porch. He took it right off their house. I don't know how that happened. I'm imagining that they, the home was abandoned for some time. Modular? It, you mean, because to, like, to take the porch off. Like, if you took anything out of the kitchen, I'm going to know, because like, I'm in the kitchen. So if you like took the microwave, I'd be like, you know. I'd yeah. find out with like a couple hours, like, hey, the microwave is going. It says he walked past several no trespassing signs and took the porch, which was not attached to the home at the attached of the at the time of the alleged theft. Oh, okay. Well, he didn't come up and disinstall it, re uninstall it. Yeah, they uh, they they found the guy. They've been looking for him for days. He was a suspect. They were called to his house for a domestic disturbance. Oh, my they God. They said that he was he had gotten into a fight with his wife, no. and he was throwing rocks at their house. Bro. And that's how they came and got They didn't say how he took the porch. I mean, you put in your truck. <laughs> <laughs> it was 8 by 10, so it's not that big. Yeah, it's right? not that big. I used to have a 12 by 12 shed, so it was just like, like a little front porch. Yeah. Like, what? Smaller than your rug, bro. Like what in the hickory? Why that, would you steal somebody's porch? Wait, wait. Can we? Can we? What? What, what race of person is that? <laughs> just ask. Do you me, have to ask? I have to. I have no. I just want to know so I'm, you know, I'm not making a mistake do you here. Think, do you think a black dude would steal somebody's porch? They might be Asian. I don't know, Jonas. Asians have an affinity for porches. They're big things in their culture. Porches? I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure. You I know? don't. All right. So look, this guy basically saw an item on his neighbor's property. Neighbors, because he was throwing rocks at their house. So I assume he was. He lived nearby. Assumptions. Even if he didn't, it's a small town, obviously. Oh, S- is it? Yeah. And then he stole it, and then with stolen property on your on your premises, you decided to. <laughs> Have a domestic violence or domestic dispute that somehow the cops got called. And the first comment, this is how you porch pirate. I saw that. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's definitely a porch pirate. <laughs> like you. I don't understand how. How that even worked. Like, how do you have a porch that's not attached to your house? What? Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you order them. You can get like those pre-made porches. You know, you can have like modular. You can make have pre-made homes, my man. You've seen them on the, on the roads before. The picture looked, it looks like a nice porch. I mean, it looks like one of those Home Depot porches that you can like buy pre-made or something. Yeah. Porch I mean, you pirate like, steals entire porch. Fox then, 5. Yeah, and then you like take it home and then you lacquer it so you feel like you did something. But really, all you oh, you put a, Thompson's water seal on it. Yeah, you got to do all that stuff yourself. But you know, so you would do that, and then you'd like put it on the house. Where hey, you'd like Thompson's it. water seal that protects wood for a lifetime. It does. It does protect wood for a lifetime. It's like when you get that shit that you spray on your shoes, so if water hits it, it beads up. They sell it at Foot Locker. Bro, I never. You're not getting me on that bullshit. It just makes the dirt nah, come off. No, 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 no. They used to get me on that upsell stuff all the time until I realized that I had like. Seven bottles of that shit. You want to buy hat it. magic? No, I don't want your hat magic. They would always try. Now shoelaces. I will admit, I will buy shoelaces. Well, yeah, because every every shoe comes with, like the worst shoelaces ever. Plus, I usually like to get something that's going to like coordinate with the shoe, or maybe I have like an outfit picked out for the shoe, and I want it to like you know, like if your shoe has a little bit of color on it, I want a shoelace with some of their colors. Yeah, I'll tell you, my docs came with good shoelaces, like because you got to tie you got to tie like boots boot shoes like you're, real tight. I'm sorry, your docs. Doc Martens. Okay, I just want you to say that for everybody on the podcast. Yeah, you got some Doc Martens. They came with, those are good shoes. Yeah, and they came with good laces. They're sensible, yeah. I realize that you have to tie them really tight. Uh, you should have got the Velcro ones. Oh, I like Velcro shoes. <laughs> what? Nothing. Absolutely nothing, man. Uh, Live your best life. Is Are Doc Martens not cool anymore? 
Uh, wow. Anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know. I know they're good, sensible shoes. I, I, I don't know anything about them enough to, to deem them cool or not. I mean, they're not Timberlands. If you were, I don't know, Drake, do you think Drake wears Doc, Doc Martens? I think Dave Drake wears whatever he you wants. You think Dave Drake? I'm not talking about Dave Drake. I'm talking about Drake, the international rapper. Rapper. I think he wears whatever he wants. Do you think he wears Doc Martens is what I'm asking you? You think? think Are he, you trying to say only white people wear Doc Martens? That's not what I'm saying. I, you just, why'd white you white ask people? me if a black dude wore Doc Martens? <laughs> do you think? See, that's very funny because if I ask you if Tom Hanks wears it. <laughs> I'm like, all of a sudden, it's like, well, probably. <laughs> probably. Do you think that, uh, I don't know. I don't know who wears them. Can I Google who wears Doc Martens? I don't know. comes up. Joe, who's a cool white guy? Do you think Post Malone wears Doc Martens? Oh, my God. Is that a cool white guy? Do I need face tats and have always sleepy on my Post face? Post Malone is cool, right? Isn't he? Is he? He I looks don't know. like he smells. He does look homeless, but that's not his fault. He he does it on purpose, man. And he's got more money than us, so he can look however he wants. Yeah. If I had a quote, I'd say it right now. Um. Okay. Which is like your motto. You're always about like, look how you want to look. Uh Oh, according to the internet, it yeah. says, it says Martins will continue to be the go-to shoe that always make a fashion statement. <laughs> what? <laughs> according to their website? No, uh, according to nylon.com. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't says, realize it's them. Uh, it says <laughs> whether you're willing to live out your pop punk dreams. Pop punk. Or simply dress with style. See how some of our favorite stars wore Doc Martens over the year. Oh, yeah. Give me some stars. Willow wear. Smith. Will Smith wears Be Doc Martens. Willow. Oh, yeah. Willow Smith. Oh, okay. The, the daughter. Bella Hadid. I don't know who that Dua is. Dua Lipa. Okay. Dua Lipa is cool. Okay. It's, this one says, what does wearing Doc Martens mean? It says Martens. Wait. Hold, wait. wait a minute. You named a bunch of uh, like. <laughs> It's a du solid, durable work boot, both tough and comfortable, allowed you some young people within English subcultures to express their explicit connection to the working class. Not to mention, I wonder how much they got paid for appearing in this article. <clears throat> 18 times celebrities wore Doc Martin boots. 18 times celebrities. On, that is on footwearnews.com. <laughs> oh my God, dude. <laughs> It's like a sneakerhead website. Bro, these are AI generated ads um to just at exactly what I said. They're just AI generated ads. These are not real articles. These are bait articles for people who Google Doc Martin. No, oh, this is the Doc Mar the history of Dr. Martins. It's kind of insane to me how the internet has just become like AI just, articles. It's just AI articles and adverts. It is dude. It is the end of society. It is. I hey. saw. Go ahead. I'll tell you something I saw. I was going to say the introduction of AI art has already started to have uh, incestuous properties where AI art is referencing itself. And I feel that the same may happen to these AI articles where they start referencing articles that are making misclaims and it's just going to be a spread of misinformation. Oh, absolutely. The internet is not going to have real knowledge on it anymore. I saw somebody sent me a video today, mm -hmm. and it was just like a grown man. He was probably, I'd say, easily 35, if not older. Bet. And he was sitting there, and he was, and he was like talking about, he's like, oh, you're going to send me more glizzies. And he's just like, oh, glug, glug, glug. And like, and he's just sitting, he's like, send me more glizzies. And then like, he's like, oh, heart. And it's like glizzies. And he's just like, oh, glug, glug. And I'm like, what the fuck is I happening do, in I the world? Like, I like a good glizzy. I was just like, this dude is throating glizzies for, for fake internet emojis. You might get a lion, Jonas. And if you get a lion, then, you know, what are you going to do then? See, you know what I'm talking about. I do. It's, what the hell is it? It's uh, <laughs> it's ice cream so good. Yeah, mm, ice cream so good. Yeah, what the hell is happening? Balloon. Pop, 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 pop. So that is uh, that's TikTok Live, and there are certain uh gifts that you can send to. Do you get money for the gifts? 
yes, they equate the money. Oh, so he's glizzy in for dollars. Yeah, so ice creams are a certain amount of money, balloons are a certain amount of money, and uh, I think one of the bigger ones are lions, and that is actually a $500 donation. It's for very you, similar to Twitch. For you to, like, make yourself look like a fool? Uh, make me laugh, funny man? I mean, yeah, you don't necessarily have to do that. That's just what some people do because it is to some degree entertaining. I don't really see anybody being able to make like a a way off of that unless you're like a female and you're hot and then you're basically just getting the money for being hot. But uh yeah, it's very similar to to Twitch where they try to disassociate you actually spending money. Twitch has the bit system and uh TikTok has the uh the gift system. Oh, you just bought a lion. Send this person a lion. Send this person an ice cream. Send them a freaking taxi cab. Send him a lion. Send him a taxi cab. That sounds like some weird stuff. Yeah, it's some weird shit. Yeah, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. See you, too. Uh, we out. Uh...